It's week five on ESPN. The Giants come into today's game with an average pass defense, which is ranked at number 18 in the NFL. They will be going up against a similar team versus the Cowboys who come in with an average pass defense. They hold up their end of the bargain on most days. The question is, is today one of those days? So let's see how it plays out in Dallas with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Hello, and it's a great day for football here under the big top at Texas Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe. Glad to have you with us. Peter, let's go over your picks for today. Oh, these DBs have speed, baby. Greasy speed. They close on the ball like cheetahs. Really, Dan, y you can't coach that. Roy Williams comes in shutting down his side of the secondary. Don't make a mistake in his direction because he'll punish you for it. And looking over to the team warming up, we see another awesome cover guy. Omar Stoutmeyer comes in as a big play guy for this team, speeding through the secondary for some big numbers. Defensively this season, he's averaged four tackles and an interception every third game or so. Thanks, Peter. Let's go midfield, where the team captains are ready for the coin toss. Tail. Tail to call. call. It is head. The it Cowboys is. elect to receive, and we're ready to start the game. Let's see if they pull something aggressive out of their hats for the first play of this drive. Now first and ten. Everybody's looking. It's time. He's done. Two tight ends on the field. Galloway goes in motion. Smith with the carry. Room on the side. Great run by the 13-year man out of Florida. Peter, let's go over the starting offensive players for the Cowboys. Let's begin with the offensive line. Larry Allen keeps the quarterback healthy, and he and his line are ready to go. Up now are the receivers. Joey Galloway stands out as the best of the bunch. So far this season, he's averaged 54 yards and around a touchdown a game. And last but not least, we have these three gentlemen. Emmett Smith puts on a good show with these other two. On the ground this season, he's averaged 61 yards on 17 carries a game. Okay, back to the action. Cowboys. It's second and two. Let's put them back! Put them back! Smith with the ball, straight up the gut, a 45, 40, 30, 20, and now at the 13 yard line. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. The Cowboys, with a nice run on the last play, will have another first down. Smith is to the right, and we'll see if he can repeat his performance from the last play. Smith again gets it. Peter, I want to stop here if I may go back a down and talk about that run. That was a heck of a play. Absolutely, Dan. Emmett Smith is a shoe-in for the NFL Hall of Fame. He's had 11 consecutive years of rushing for over 1,000 yards, the most ever. He's also scored 25 touchdowns in a single season, also the most ever. And the records just keep falling. All at the 14-yard line. The Cowboys go stay with the ground game. It'll be third and long. Peter, let's look at the Giants' starting defense. 
We'll start off with the D-line. Michael Strahan shows tremendous heart, and the other linemen respect that. Next up are the linebackers. Michael Barrow pulls together all the loose ends and reads the quarterback size like a book. And last but not least, we have the secondary. Sean Williams shadows his receiver like he's glued to him. Now back to the game. Third and ten. Going deep, going deep. They're going with the Carter nails his man in the end zone for the score. What? Right by the defender. He zeroed in on his man early and obviously thought the single coverage was worth the risk. With an accurate arm like that, Dan, there wasn't any risk at all. Cowboys. Cedar will line up for the point after. First points on the board, seven to zero. Nor lines up for the kickoff. There's the kick. Washington fields this one. Dan, they allowed the touchdown, and now it's their turn to answer right back. Let's see if they can do it. Ball on the 27. Hilliard in motion. Collins stays back. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync. They're able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Well, they actually look like Backstreet Boys to me. I, I don't follow that. <laughs> First and ten. will run it through a game of two. Peter, let's look at the Giants starting offense. Up first are the big guys, the offensive line. Dusty Ziegler powers up this line considerably, and that will give his quarterback more time. Next up, the receiving core. Amani Toomer adds a lot to this pack of receivers. So far this season, he's averaged 48 yards on four catches a game. Finally, here's the general and his next in command. Kerry Collins provides a vital contribution to this group. Through the air this season, he's averaged 119 yards and around a touchdown a game. Back to the field now. Second and eight. With the carry, and left side, third down coming up. Peter, let's go over the starting offensive players for the Cowboys. Up first is the defensive line. Leroy Glover is who I'll be checking out from this group. He energizes this squad in a big way. That's followed by the linebackers. Kevin Hardy knows whether it's a run or a pass before the rest do. Finally, Peter, the secondary. Darren Woodson blazes up and down the field and stays in hot pursuit, baby. Let's get back to the game. It's third and five. Bring up 
Fourth down. Oh, what a nice play by the defense. Didn't let him get far at all. And more importantly, kept him short of the first. Williams comes in and will punt it away. It's away. Emmett Smith put up the big numbers last drive. Let's see what he can add on right here. Ball at the nine-yard line. You're going to be down here all day. They have their tight end to the right. Smith with the ball. Stiff arm. Ball on the 12. That's all they get. That's all they get. Smith will run it. And will bring up third and short. Carry this one way right. And get some good yards on that second down run. It's the end of the first quarter. The Cowboys currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game, seven to zero. Third and one. Put this one left side of the line, and he gets the yards he needs to move the chains. Good play. It's first and ten. They go with one man back. The Cowboys go with the run. Leaves wide right. Williams takes the hit and takes him down after a handful of yards. Nice little run there, Dan. I got to tell you, the O-line is really doing a good job run blocking so far. Pretty good synchronization by these big guys. Second and four. Go get him in, baby. Go get him in. All right, come on left. Smith with the carry. Took the handoff and went right of center to get what he needed for the first. Good job. All at the 33 yard line. directly in the path of the ball and force the incompletion and let me tell you something Dan that is tough to do it's hard to read a play and react quickly enough to get into position like that ball on the 33 Smith with the ball. Good takedown by the third year man out of Michigan. It's third and nine. My DB is going to set the drive down right now. Four wide receivers on the field. Carter is back. Throws. Oh. 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 Oh.
threw the ball into double coverage. He needs to read that coverage a little more carefully. Noor comes in and will punt it away. It's off. Barber will field it. Adams forces him out of bounds on the return. First down, Giants. Close game so far, and even though there's plenty of time left, they'd love to score on this drive. It's first and ten. for the first down. Terry Collins threw a terrific pass there in the double coverage. And the right guy makes the catch. When does this guy not throw it? When his receiver is completely surrounded by the entire defense? Uh, if there wasn't a challenge to it, it wouldn't be any fun. All at the 47-yard line. Collins. It's the bullseye on this baby. Check out this beauty. How did he get it by all those defenders? Yeah, he made those guys look like the Three Stooges. And <laughs> not even the classic Three Stooges. More like two shimps and a curly Joe. Oh, We've reached the two-minute warning. on the 43. and about seven yards. Watch the run! Watch the run! Barber with the carry. In the right side. Juke! A 25, 15, and the rebound at the six-yard line. First down. Barber's made a great run. Watch how he cracks the defense here. Oh, what a juke. He faked me out on that play. That nice little fake move was brilliantly executed, and it got him some good yards. The Giants have a first after the big run on that last play. Barber will line up with the lone setback after the nice pickup last play. Barely gets it. He's brought down, putting an end to his first catch of the day. The Giants take their first time up. Peter, I want to stop here if I may. Go back and down and talk about that run. That was a heck of a play. You are quite right, Dan. Tiki Barber, you know, he does it all. He catches a lot of passes. He runs the ball well. He even, you know, return a pump and a kick or two. He holds the Giants all perfect yardage record with 2,089 yards. The pass is incomplete. Dexter Copeland had that player's number, including its four-digit extension, baby. There was no way that pass was getting by him. It's third and goal. They're going with two tight ends. Stays back. Barely gets it off. So they got fourth and about a foot. This ball comes in and it looks like it's right on target. Man, I gotta look close at this one. Yeah. Man, he just really missed that one. Well, Peter, he just dropped six points. Those are the catches you positively have to make. Oh, it easily 
Owen Pachman puts in a nice little dinger. Straight and true. Oh, just as cool as if he was tossing a crumpled piece of paper into a wastebasket. The Giants cut into the lead, and the game can go anywhere from here. The score, 7-3. to three. Hockman is back to kick it away. Nice kick. Wiley fields it deep. And if they can manage to score here, that could really put some pressure on for the second half. First and ten. Let's get the fans to show. Put the points on the board. They line up with two wideouts. Carter drops back. Throws. Nice stop by the ten-year man out of Miami. Hey, when the pass is approaching, he's got to watch it all the way into his hands. The clock shows 59 seconds left. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. Hey, double check. Carter fades back. Throws. <laughs> A gain of 13. <laughs> Mike Lucky has got three hungry sharks circling him and still manages to catch the ball. <laughs> Nice catch. Yeah, and any one of those guys could have easily broken up that play, even picked off the pass. Why throw to it, Peter? Well, as we just saw, he can get the job done, and that counts for something. Ball at the 36-yard line. They line up in the eye. Bryant goes in motion. Smith with the ball. Right side. Comes up with the stop. His third this afternoon. Ball on the 40. Keep an eye on the backfield. Watch for the run. They line up with their tight end left. Ismael in motion. Smith will run it. Forces through. Lock down at the 47 yard line. That will do it for the first half. The score, 7 to 3. The ESPN halftime update with Clark Dishman is coming up next. Welcome to the ESPN halftime update. Let's review what went on in the first half. The Cowboys come into halftime running the ball well, as the stats show. While it's still a close game, you have to believe that if they keep it up, they can control the clock and the game. Emmett Smith has sprinted for a total of 103 yards and no fumbles. That makes him our ESPN Hot at the Half player. That will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman reminding you to tune in to ESPN's postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send you back to Dan and Peter. Now we'll Nor sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter. This is returnable. Nixon gets the ball. Goes over a tackle. Tackle at the 34-yard line. First down, Giants. Last time they walked away with only three points, Dan. You know that this time out they want to punch it into the end zone. First and ten. You get a long way from Barber with the carrot. A gain of two on the play. Second, Second down. down. Eight, Eight yards, yards to go. go. Second and eight. Makes a key second down stop there, bottling up the middle. Now it comes down to third.
It's third and nine. Just play smart, baby. Just play smart. Shotgun formation. There's third by left. It'll be fourth down. Well, the defense gave up some yards, but the key thing here is that they kept them from converting. That's the whole point of showing up on third down. Williams comes in to punt after a three and out. There's the punt. Clinton has it. Well, this game could go either way, Dan, and that's what makes this drive critical. They'd love to put some points on the board right here. Now, ball at the 35-yard line. I don't know if that was a fluke. We're going to get the ball right back. Hey, double time, double! Carter drops back. Throws. Hit. The pass is incomplete. Well, I'm not sure what went wrong on that pass play, Dan, but it didn't look right. Ball on the 35. They go with the I formation. Carter, they barely gets it off. Ismael was the intended receiver. Incomplete pass. Michael Barrow got his body in the way of that one, Dan. It's all about clogging up the passing lanes. You can't coach that. Third and ten. Drops back. Sits tight. Throws. Incomplete. And that's three in a row. Quincy Carter maybe should have thought twice before throwing into double coverage. That could have easily been picked off. Nor will punt it away after a three and out. Barber reels in the fair catch. Well, let's see if this offense can put something together after the defense handed them a three and out. It's first and ten. Barber will run it. It's now second and six. Keep your eyes open. Don't give them an inch. Oh, 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 oh. Collins, a Rose. That will bring up third down. Kerry Collins didn't get enough arm into that one, Dan. It's hard for receivers to come back to an underthrown pass. It's now third and six. Kuma goes in motion. Collins from the gun. Throws. Trying to take yards that weren't even there. Beautiful running after the catch, and he picks up the first. Ball at the 42-yard line. Hilliard in motion. Barber with the carry. A game of four. Well, this O-line's been opening up some nice holes in the middle these past few plays. That's why I like this last run. Keep attacking the center of the line until they can stop you.
Ball on the 38th. It's only six. It's only six. They're going with a split backfield. Barber with the ball. Gets the block. Westbrook with the tackle. His first stop of the game. Third down. One yard to go. Third and one. First down. First nice down. job to pick up the first. Good read of Jenny the D and go, nice go. explosion to get through the line. It's first and ten. Three wide receivers on the field. Collins got the back. Close. Incomplete. I tell you, got across the middle, but couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Bring it down to nowhere, baby. In. One man back. Hijacks that play after a couple of yards. Carried this one just left of center, and he got a couple, but there's still a way to go to move the chains. Third and eight. Room on the left side. The 15. Kiki Barber weeks Jenny by on that play. He almost gets taken down, but watch how he pulls this out. He takes a shot from behind, him, but just keeps churning his legs until he's out of trouble. Well, it just goes to show, Peter, persistence pays off in a pinch. of the third quarter. The Cowboys currently enjoying a small advantage. Seven to three. The Giants, with a nice run on the last play, will have another first down. Six points. They were totally synced up on that play. A great route plus a great catch. Equals six points, and that's really great. Hockman lines up for the point after. It's away. The extra point. Good. The Giants, with that score, take the lead. They're up 10 to 7. Hockman sets up and will kick it away. The kick is up. Wiley gets it deep. A 25. Dan, I'm curious to see how they start this drive out. Ball at the 31-yard line. These are our fans. Give them some cheer back. Right side, right side, right. Carter is back. Oh, 
Quincy Carter throw a solid pass in the single coverage there. Let's see it again. Right there. Yeah. That, that's a clean pass left. No opening for it to be picked off at all. Yes, sir. He threw a guided missile there. Emphasis on guided. <laughs> he knew exactly where that pass was going. Cowboys. Ball on the 45. Smith with the carry, short, reads that play, and stops it just past the line. Carried this one off his left guard, but there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. It's second and nine. Go get Mason, what's the third and long? Fourth it. They should see how he managed to make sure that he was positioned between the QB and the receiver on that baby. There was no way that was going to be a completion. It's third and nine. With the ball. The game is six on the play. Fourth down. Dennis Smith played some aggressive Three offense there that paid off. Watch this. Boom! He, he just went for it. Well, that shoulder charge really made the play happen, and I don't see him punching through otherwise. Oh, yeah. Sacrificing the body. You can't coach that. Nor winds up and gets ready to punt it away. It's off. Barber catches it. Well, it's a close game and time is running out. You have to love these situations. This is a big drive here. First and ten. Sit down on your baby. Williams takes the tackle. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Second and about a foot. Let's take some yards as well. Take some yards. Tight end is lined up on the right side. Barber is running. Makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. He stuffed that run up the middle. There was no way that ball was getting out of the backfield. We've reached the two-minute warning. Third and one. Very short, very short. They line up with two tight ends. Arbor with the carry. The Cowboys take their first time out. Kiki Barber makes a no-frills run here, but I like that. He knows his job, and his job is getting the first down. And that's the first. Parkers, Peter, good play. Well, they're going to need more than a half-hearted arm tackle to put him down. Barber gets it again. Wilson makes 
makes the tackle. That's number four. The Cowboys will take a timeout. That's their second. Picks up a few there. It may not look like much, Dan, but getting those early yards makes second and third downs immensely easier. All at the 48-yard line. Giants still the ground. It will be third down. The Cowboys take a timeout. That's their final one. Took this one off his right guard, and he gets a few. Third and four. Winds up and gets ready to country the way. There's the punt. Swinton fields the fair catch. Oh, this is a huge drive. They have a chance to tie it up and head into overtime. Hey, it's crunch time, fellas. 57 seconds to go. Cowboys have it. Loss of nine. Second down. Kenny Holmes made a beauty of a hit on this play, Dan. He's the guy that springs it loose coming up. Oh, there's the contact. Yeah, Peter, it looks like uh, that hit was just enough to make the ball squirm out of there. That is a big defensive play, and they capitalize on it. The clock shows 39 seconds left. You got to get a long way to go. A long way. They're going with four wideouts. Carter back. Sits in the pocket. Throws. It will be third and a long way to go. Antonio Bryant moved to the outside and was open but couldn't make the completion. It's third and 19. of the day on fourth and 13 and they're gonna go for it single back formation Carter drops back throws Gallagher runs out and oh Nelly what a mistake that was he didn't get the first, first and they will force it the ball on downs Dan the most important drive of the game here if they get a first down and control the clock hey they could walk away with this one just 21 seconds left He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. Second down. Twelve yards to go. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. The Giants win a close one, 10 to 7. On behalf of Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westfall, and myself, Dan Stevens, it was a real pleasure bringing you today's game. We'll see you next time for more NFL action on ESPN. Now, let's go to the post-game wrap-up. 
Thanks for joining us here on the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Giants come away with a close three-point win over the Cowboys. They now move to 4-1 and one on the year. The Giants did not give up many yards through the air, as the numbers plainly show us. Their defense kept the heat on the receivers for most of the game. Kiki Barber thundered for a total of 99 yards and no fumbles. He's our ESPN player of the game. Thanks for tuning in to today's post-game report. Be sure to catch the weekly wrap-up for a review of all the scores, highlights, and game news. This is Clark Dishman. We'll see you next time.